welcome for a mathematics lesson. We're going to continue with matrices and transformations, the inverse of a matrix of transformation. It's very good for us to know how a matrix relates with its inverse when it comes to transformations. I just want to highlight that uh, given a matrix that given a matrix of transformation M matrix M then M inverse written this way is the inverse of the matrix of the matrix M. But it's good for us to recall from book three mathematics that when a matrix is multiplied by its inverse, let me write it well. When a matrix is multiplied by its inverse, we usually get the identity matrix whose value is one, whose value is one. Therefore, multiplying a matrix and its inverse, it's like multiplying a certain value with its reciprocal. And the answer is always one. This is to tell us that if a matrix multiplies or pre-multiplies a certain object to get an image then when the inverse of the matrix is pre-multiplied by the image gives the object. In simpler terms, we can say that the inverse of a matrix, the inverse of a matrix maps an image back to the object back to the object this is after an object has been pre-multiplied by a certain matrix to give us an image now when we take the image and we pre-multiply it with the inverse of the matrix that has given us the image then we get back to the object in simpler terms the inverse of a matrix reverses the transformation. Let's take this example. Triangle ABC as vertices A, which is negative 3, 1, B, which is negative 3, 4, and C which is a negative one, four, part one or part A. Find the image of triangle A, B, C under a matrix represented by which is a one two zero one so this is the matrix of transformation which we expect to transform triangle abc onto its image that one will be found then part b find 
the inverse of the above matrix. Find the inverse of the above matrix. Find the image of under the inverse calculated in B above. Therefore, we are having a triangle, a matrix of transformation, then we find the inverse, then we now calculate again the image of the image under the inverse which has been calculated above solution let me let me include some space here let me include some space so when we are talking of a, a matrix an object to give us image, we can directly apply the matrix S1, 2, uh, 0, 1, just as we have written it. Then the triangle, which is A, B, C. Now we bring the coordinates as a um, negative 3, 1. Then we have negative 3, 4 and there is, there is negative one, four, so that it gives us the A prime, the B prime, and the C prime. So now what we love is this row times the first column, whereby one goes by negative three and two goes by one. So one times negative three is negative three, two by one is two. So negative three plus two becomes negative one, then we go to the next whereby the same row on the next column negative three plus eight becomes a positive five then we go to the next whereby we will have negative one then positive eight and that becomes positive seven then in the lower elements we will use the second row and the respective columns so zero by negative three and one by one this becomes one then four repeats itself and four again because we are multiplying by zero and a one therefore now we are already having a prime as negative one one b prime as five four and the coordinates of c prime as seven four with this we can now find the inverse of the matrix above whereby for us to find inverse we need to take the product of the elements in the leading diagonal whereby it's one and one so one multiplied by one then we subtract the product of the elements in the other diagonal whereby there is a two and zero so two by zero this will give us one minus zero which is one Therefore, what we have calculated here is what we call the determinant. So the determinant of the matrix is positive 1. For us to get the inverse of the matrix, we need to interchange the elements in the leading diagonal such that if we had one here and one on the other side, they interchange the positions. So one takes this position and because the other digit is also one, it takes this other position. But for the elements in the main diagonal, in the other diagonal, that is, they just change the sign. Remember, we have a 2 here, so it becomes negative 2. And we have a 0 here, it just becomes a 0 because negative 0 is just a 0. Then we divide everything by the determinant, which is 1. So after the de uh, determinant dividing everything, each value will remain the way it is because one dividing anything the value remains itself therefore we'll have one one negative two zero 
this one now is the inverse of the matrix above. After getting the inverse, we can continue to find the image of the triangle above under the image, uh, under the inverse. Therefore, 1, negative 2, 0, 1. This one is being multiplied by uh, negative 1, 1. Then we have uh, 5, 4. Then we have 7, 4. Let's see what you're going to get. So we will have 1 by negative 1 to give us negative 1. Then negative 2 by 1 to give us negative 2. So we have negative 1 because of this row and this column. We have negative 1 by negative 2 giving us negative 3. The next we shall have the same row at the next column such that we have 5 and negative 8 giving us a negative 3. Then in the the last element in the upper row, we shall have negative, okay, positive 7 minus 8 to give us negative 1. Then on the other side, we shall have this row times the respective columns. 0 by negative 1 and 1 by 1 to give us 1. Then 0 by 5 and 1 by 4 to give us 4. 0 by 7 and 1 by 4 to give us 4. So we can see now the second image, which is A, A prime. A double prime gives us negative 3, 1. B double prime gives us negative 3, 4. And C double prime gives us negative 1, 4. Therefore, we can notice very well that the second image is having the same coordinates as the original triangle. Therefore, we can conclude that the inverse here of a matrix maps an image back to the object.